Okay, so I'm making a video to show a closer look of this uh, twin boom plane that I made. And uh, there's really not a lot, you know, to it. It's not that complicated. Um, I used the arm and wing. And uh, I really want to make a more detailed video, but uh, it's late right now. And uh, I've been so busy lately. But I just want to uh, get a, a, a video out just... You know, some guys been asking for a closer look at it. And so, uh, the fuselage is, is 20 inches. And with the booms, it comes out to about 40, I think it was 41 inches, 42. But the way I had this, uh, the boom just rubber band on there. Uh, you can take the rubber band off and adjust the boom back and forth, you know, for center of gravity. And uh, all I would have to do is just disconnect the, uh, the servo lead right there. And uh, but where I got it right now, it uh, flies great. I'm flying it with one uh, 2200 milliamp battery, which is not in here right now. But uh, here's the inside of the fuselage. Um, here's my uh, FR Sky receiver. Uh, I have a 40 amp speed controller right there, and. Uh, I have a hatch here that I just have taped down. And if I need to get to the uh, the motor connections. So I'm going to uh, pretty much just tape that down. Um, here I have Velcro to, uh, to close the main hatch. Uh, this is a, a 1800, uh, 1800 KV motor. Uh, Exceed RC from Hobby Parts. I'm using an 8x4 prop and uh, just three servos, three 9 gram servos. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I put a little uh, V uh, dihedral in the wing, just a, a, just a little bit. And um, I have a two, well, I have a, a, a 3 8 inch. Uh, spar, I believe it's three eighths, maybe quarter inch, uh, wooden dowel rod in there, and uh, you know when I make the more detailed video, I'll show how I uh, ran the rod through there to and to be able to get that uh, the dihedral in the wing. And uh, other than that, that's it, and it flies great. This uh, uh, on the more detailed video, I'll give you some specs, but. Uh, the wing cord with the ailerons are 8 inches. Uh, this is the Armin wing from Experimental Airlines and it's uh, uh, two 20 inch sections. And then the middle section is just 5 inches which gives me a fi uh, 45 inch wing wingspan. And uh, I'll show you how, to put, how I put that together in a, in a more detailed video. And uh, that's about it. Uh, pretty simple design. Uh, you can probably see back there in the background. I like this one so much that I made a bigger one. Bigger version. Uh, this one has a 60 inch wingspan. And uh, I loaded it up with my FPV gear. And I got my... Sony's uh, 600 TVL camera right there in the front. Uh, my uh, IR sensor from the uh, Cyclops Nova OSD. This is 5.8 gigahertz, uh, 500 milliwatt uh, video transmitter. Uh, I got this set up to run with a uh, with two 2200 milliamp batteries. And uh, there's my speed controller, GPS. Uh, this is the uh, Grayson Hobby 1400 KV motor with, uh, I believe this prop is 9 by 6 And uh, pretty much the exact same design. The uh, fuselage on this one is uh, 20 inches long, but the height is 6 inches, you know, so I can have more room in there to... Uh, Put my FPB gear in there, and uh, 
Same design with the wing. Uh, a little bit more dihedral than this one. This one flies great also. Um, with that much more powerful motor on there though, it flies a lot faster, a lot more powerful. And uh, this one looks better. <laughs> and this one looks kind of like a school bus, but you know, it flies, it does the job. So um, I'll get a video out on this one soon too, a flight video. Uh, these are the two, two of the planes that I'm flying right now. I uh, got a couple other things in the works. I uh, got a cargo plane there, and uh, this one, I uh, took it out a couple days ago, it didn't fly too well, it's very hard to control, but uh, I don't know, I might give it another shot, make some adjustments on it, then too I might just scrap it and use the parts for another plane, but uh, these are the two best two flyers that I got right now, and uh, so let me know what you think.